Back at Sam's, I've returned with my lovely new potentially record-breaking wheels. Sam quickly gets the rear in. Now it's time to build the front end. Shall we get the forks in? Give it a go. Yeah, come on then. Once the forks are assembled, in goes the second of Rich's expertly laced chrome wheels. This bike is so narrow, isn't it? It's hey. got to be narrow. You've got to get out of the wind. Wind? I was wondering what that smell was. Hey, um, since I've been away, how much quinoa have you eaten? All of it. Have you? Apart from the bit I saved for you. Now the rolling chassis is assembled, we can see whether we've got the rate right. I don't want a repeat of the ball-breaking tank slapper I had at Bonneville last year. I remember going down the side, <laughs> shouting my head off, oh, I'm not going to drop it, but hey, we've got the You're record, here? man. It we're worked. Here, and we're going back. That's salt fever. Enough reminiscing. Time to get my leg over. I'm so excited, mate, really. Where are we rear set? Way back there. OK, so basically we're not sitting on the seat, are we? No, knees in, mm -hmm. elbows in. That's it. That's going to be the style. Sitting on our brand new rolling chassis for the first time, I can imagine the taste of salt on my lips and feel the desert heat on my back. Does it feel fast yet? Yeah, it does feel fast. Mm -hmm. It may look fast, but will it break the record? We still have to make a seat, exhaust and a bespoke tank. There's still a long way to go, but I'm feeling optimistic. When you take a look at that, that bike is definitely going to be in with a shout. And what's wonderful for me about Bonneville is you're not racing against people, right? You're racing against a time, and that time goes down in history. And that bike could actually do something incredible. I'm now going to take the rolling chassis away to start accessorising while Sam embarks on the long and winding road of tuning our race engine. <laughs>